Hello guys, I'm MFV here and today we are playing with a new squad, the most overpowered team on FIFA and it's the first one I'm actually going to play with a team this time guys, because I've found a way, since online squads guys, I'm kind of stuck, I can't turn them off, but I can't, I have found a way to do it, and it's through tournaments, but we, it's a way to play with the teams, I'm excited to play with New York City or Football Club or something like that, and we're going to show the most overpowered team, my most overpowered team, and first of all we're starting that by Sirigu guys, fantastic goalkeeper guys he's well rounded he's six foot four look at his goalkeeping stats when i go on them oh look at that he's so well rounded and he's a six foot four accurate keeper what else can you ask for in a keeper guys in my opinion uh, he, he makes saves again ea goalkeepers are broken on this game they're really bad they basically can't save anything and it's rubbish basically so basically goalkeepers are rubbish, They're basically goalkeepers, have, the patch doesn't even help them at all. So basically goalkeepers are absolutely rubbish guys, but he's, I would argue, the best keeper on the game. If you want a keeper that actually saves something, he still muck, mucks up guys because it's FIFA. But this guy makes saves you don't expect him to, like Neuer. I would say if you want a version of Neuer guys, he's the cheap Neuer because he makes all the good saves Neuer does. And he goes for about, I don't know. 500k less than he does, but Sirigu guys, arguably, in my opinion, the best goalkeeper in the game. Now, let's move on to our first center act, Kyle Kyobi. I absolutely love this guy. This guy's an insane tank. Look at these stats, guys. 70 acceleration, 78 sprint speed, 93 strength, 76 heading, 75 marking. His defense is really good as well, and he's six foot bloody five. You cannot stand. This guy is an absolute tank in the air. He basically wins all the headers. Oh, this guy is so good on the game. And next to him, we've got Matty. Guys, you know I love this guy. I really do. He's fast. He's um. He's six foot five. He's strong. He's all you need. I would say Carl, but he's better than Matty. But Matty, guys, you can pick him up on career mode for five million. He's definitely an option. For any lower league BPL clubs or um, any um, mid-table Bundesliga or La Liga clubs, Matip is the guy to go for because he's so insane on this game. And he, do he doesn't make a mistake. You literally notice, you don't even notice him in the games because he never makes a mistake. And that is so good. He's got 79 short passing and he's a defender. 80 marking, 76 long pass. He's got a bit of a long pass on him. It's a shame his shooting can't be said for as well, guys. You know, um, long shots, 51. Shot power, 70, 65. I thought he would have had more, but it doesn't really matter. Next, we go over Nur. Everyone loves this guy. I mean, I'm joining I'm joining the cause to absolutely loving this guy. He's so good on this game. He wins every single header. He's good at jumping. 70 jumping doesn't really show on his card. He jumps to really big heights in this game. And I really like Nur in this game, guys. He's one of the best cinemax in this game. And really, that's all I have to say because this video is getting on because I need to talk more about the rest of the team now. So next to him, in midfield, guys, we have got Paul Pogba, guys. Great player, distant shooter. He's a fantastic midfield to have in there. This team is very high attacking because of it, and it's a very good squad, guys. Now, Pogba is going to be our center midfielder. Next to him, we've got Mohamed Suzoko. He is a fantastic player, guys. Well-rounded as hell, and he's got 86 strength, plus he's fast as well. And he's got good passing, dribbling, and good free kick finishing and long shot as well. So, definitely a good player. And then, one of the guys, I've not seen people rock up with this year. And I'm like, what the hell? I'm in my head. This guy is insane. This is why I want to do an Eindhoven career mode, guys. Which might be coming onto my channel soon, once I end the Chelsea career mode. It's Bayern Leverkusen or Eindhoven, which I might be choosing. But, Narsing, guys. I really love this guy. I so He's so underrated. It's insane. Six for five for nine. He feels as rapid as hell. Four star skills. Yes, he doesn't have the heading or the strength, guys. But I don't really matter about that. This guy's as quick as hell, and really, he just feels so fast. And he basically just runs half the pitch. Another vendors can catch up with him. He's so good in this game. And next thing we've got S Wine, my boy S Wine. He's so good on this game, guys. Use him on the team. Fantastic player. Seven seven strength. Ninety pace. Good heading actually, and he's got a decent jump on him as well. Eighty two. So he's definitely a good. I would say I love playing this guy as a striker, but he's got to go in there. And next guy's another underrated beast on this game, Chuba Murateng. Absolute love the guy. Since he was on the team, he's been moved to a striker. Literally, I love EA now. Oh, I still hate EA so much, but really, Chuba Murateng is my favorite card in the game now, guys. Four star skills, six foot three, and he feels an absolute tank in the air. No, it's insane, guys, but he feels an absolute tank in the air. 
And next to him, guys, you've got the Barbo Sweatardo. I love this guy. He's so sweaty. It's insane. He basically just runs out the pitch and scores. And again, very, very good player because everyone rocks up with this guy. And I'm joining the massive cause to absolutely loving this guy because I absolute I just can't explain how much I love a Barbo. And next to him, we've got my favorite player in the game. This guy is just bloody broken. It's Dumbia. He's so good. People might be calling me, oh, you're such a pace whore and all kind of stuff in the thing. Well, how can you say that when he is so good on this game? Four star skills, four star weak foot. I'm not a bit of a skiller, guys. I like to pass it about, but really, I do f chuck in a wee bit of skills then and now. If I want to do like a quick um, turn or a Brisbane, a Brisbane, um, a Brisbane spin or something like that, um, he would be the guy to go for in the striker position because he is deadly. And now I found a way to go and play a game now against Chelsea. Thought I would test the team out again. We're playing Chelsea. Um, Guys, I'm going to kick up to professional because I really I got better at FIFA, guys, even though I'm kind of crap at it. Sometimes I am, guys. When I'm playing offline, I like to basically just win the games, all the games. But we've got Dumbia, guys, who's broken on this game. Even though I'm still trying to get used to next-gen, guys. I'm trying to get used to the finesse shots. Oh, that's really bad. Uh, still trying to get used to what the finesse shot is. Right. Right, Chelsea are starting with the get ball, guys. Right. This team a very attacking team. Come on. Dumbia. Oh, come on. Nick that. Right, pass it. Matip. Anur. Anur. S-Wine. S-Wine. Run, boy. Run. Run, S-Wine. Andres. Oh. Right, he's got us a throw now. Can we just take it? Right. Right, to Pogba. Turn. Back. S Y. S Y. S Y. We're going to abuse the crosses now. Where's my man, Barbo? It's Barbo! Paul! Oh, bugger. He's offside by. That's a minuscule referee. He's offside by nothing there. John Terry. you got Dumbia chasing you. It's scary. Yeah, Dumbia is so insane on this game. Right, come on. Go on, Dumbia. Oh my goodness. Dumbia. Yes, Dario Dumbia. Such an insane guy on this game. I absolutely love him. Oh my god. It is a guy, Sergio Dumbia, the man that I absolutely love in this game. To take that, what a absolute muck up in the Chelsea defence. And we have capitalised on that. With this guy, he's so fast, he wins everything. Come on, lads, let's get a second goal here. Right, come on. That'll do, win it back. Yes, he's so OP, Sirigu saves the day. Narsing, the most underrated player in this game. He's so fast. Oh my goodness, that is, that is just, that is just special. Sergio Dumbia is insane, guys. If you've not used him, he's the most OP player in this game. Just look at that. Bam. 1-0. 2-0, I mean. Look at that. Bang. Look at that header against Cahill. And starting in. Cahill 6 foot 4. Dumbia's 5 foot 10. That's typical EA logic right up there. But I don't care. 2 no up. Come on. It's amazing, guys. This team is OP as hell. I'm going to do like this. Is, um, this team, I would recommend 10 out of 10 so far. It just does the job. On counter-attacking, guys, this team is insane. Right, come on. Reach it, come on. Oh. What? Haha, <laughs> we got a penalty. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? you actually kidding me. We got a penalty. We're going to let Sergio take it, guys, because he is insane. On this game, guys. We're going to let him get his hat trick. Come on, Sergio. You need to score this. Come on. Let's slam this home, Sergio. Sergio Dumbia slams home the penalty. Hat trick hero. He's so good on this game. And we are winning 3 0 now. And, guys, depending how. I'm so bad on next gen. I was, I'm so good on current gen, but I'm bad at next gen. But really, Sergio Dumbia. He's, he just feels so good. He feels so fast and sweaty. It's insane, guys.
Narsling's going to cut in and do dangerous. Finesse. Oh, come on. Oh, we should have scored that there. But we've what, beaten Chelsea. Three goals to nil with this team, guys. Let me tell you. This team is so good on this game. It is literally ridiculous. The best player... I'm going to rate the attack and defence. Five-star attack. Midfield, I would say five-star. Defence, five-star once again. And let's go into... Mm, overall, if this whole team five-star. Best player, Dumbia, five-stars. Oh my god, this team is all around five star now because it's so good. If you guys want any of it, any players that you want a good solid, I don't know, centre back, centre mid striker, buy these players in career mode. They're so good. Uh, yes, Dumbia is 27 years of old, years of age, but really, it doesn't really matter in my opinion. He still has a good couple of years left in him. Our players are quite old in this team, I would say. This team is basically nearly filled, guy, is filled with guys that... The lowest person in this team, I think, for my, my mem memory, is that Swine will cost you 1.4 million. And he, he was saying it was a weak point in the team, guys. But the, my favourite point in this whole team, guys, out of everyone, it really had to be done. Be, uh, he, caught, he will cost you about 13 to 14 million, and he's worth every single penny of it. Thank you for watching this, guys. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching MM FIFA and I'll see you in the next episode of any I think so goodbye and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.